These are giant pumpkins. They don't look so good, but they're huge. Yeah. How do you tell if a pumpkin's good? Do you knock on it? I bet you it's bad. See, here's what happens when you vlog for like four years straight. You think about stuff and you're like, hey, we should tell them that we're at Sam's, but I tell them I'm at Sam's all the time, so maybe I won't tell them that we're at Sam's so that they're like, you know, because you guys see us at Sam's all the time. And then in my mind, I told you guys that we went to Sam's, but in all reality, I didn't film anything. And so I'm sitting there thinking like, yeah, I filmed something, but I didn't. Yeah, you did. You filmed pumpkins. Oh, I filmed pumpkins. I did film something. Haha! -ha! Touche. That's Look, cool. They have <laughs> breast cancer ribbons. We're and, two and they have pink tacos too, which is awkward. <laughs> How you knew her if you like work Look at the with size her. of them tacos. Yeah, they're big. This is my burrito or chimichanga. I already ate some of it. It was the first time I've ever gotten it fully loaded. It's pretty good. So what's happening? <laughs> my tacos are really spicy. Your like nose is stuffy, I can like hear it. <laughs> these are really spicy. The meat, the steak at the Indies. Do you hear how she sounds different? Yeah. It's like all, all of this. Oh, my no. tongue is like uh, really, it feels like it's swollen. Oh no. Mine's fine. Rub it in. Yeah. Whoa. How did you get a new taco? <laughs> I, he, he made me, he made me take these. <laughs> the manager came out and like demanded that you take <laughs> yeah. new tacos. I was like, no, no, it's fine, it's fine. And he's like, I'm not leaving until you eat these tacos, lady. <laughs> So now I have more tacos. They like regenerated, they respawn. Yeah, those are pretty awesome. Dang it, they're closed on lab our day. <laughs> My mom's like, go get that patio furniture. So now we're... Did they see? No. Do you even know what he's talking about? No. You guys don't on even know. On the way into my parents' neighborhood. We saw some patio furniture on the side of the road, but it was like brand new. It was just kind of dirty. So we just need to spray it off and uh, put it around the pool of the new house. Let's so we're go gonna go pick it up. Run over this dog that's in the middle of the road here. No. Oh yeah, you guys can't really see all of this cool stuff we got, but we got so much cool stuff. We got like a big patio table, like five chairs, two foldy like chases for around the uh, pool. Oh man, this is gonna be awesome. So on the way back, we dropped off the furniture at our house. We'll show you guys what we got when we get home because we got a lot of stuff. And uh, on the way back, just driving along and then this giant black dog starts barking and chasing after the car. Sort of chasing the car, it was old. So we stopped and got the dog out of the road and started petting the dog. It was she very was, nice. Yeah, she was a cute little baby. She was an old, big baby. <laughs> um, and then after like I would like stop petting her for a second and she was like, and she just got up and started like running away. I was like, hey, was like, where are you going? Thanks for petting me, I'm gonna go home now. So she ran to this one specific yard. So I figured that was their dog. I knocked on the door, the lady came out. They already had like five dogs inside, five little dogs inside. And she's like, oh shoot, somebody left the gate open. So it was their dog. Her name was Pepper. And but then, then said, oh. she said there was another dog that was probably out loose. And then she also said that there was a Bigfoot on the loose too. <laughs> oh no, I found the Bigfoot. I found you, Bigfoot. Come here, Bella. I want to show them you. Sit. Yeah, let me see your paw. No, sit. Shake. Oh, that's a good girl. Oh. We've been waiting to get the roof chemically cleaned because the homeowners association said that our roof was too dirty. It's not our real problem because we're renters, but the homeowner wanted to get it cleaned. The roof cleaners needed to wait for me to move my Corvair out of the driveway, so they scheduled to come out on Thursday, tomorrow. Jen heard somebody spraying on the window. So I was in the uh, office and I was like doing youtube -y stuff and all of a sudden there was just so much rain. I thought it was rain. I was like holy crap it's like pouring outside on the window and then I, I was like stood up and looked at it and it looked like somebody was like spraying a hose. They were like oh gasoline fight on the window and I was just like what the heck's going on? So I looked out the front door and there was a guy on a ladder in our front yard and I was like wait a minute. So I opened the door and I asked the guy, I'm like, what are you doing here? <laughs> and he was like, oh, I'm here to clean your roof. And I said, no, you were supposed to come tomorrow. Cause I tweeted out the other day, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you might've seen this, but I tweeted like, when did it become acceptable to like to end a phone call with, all right, click. Cause he called to schedule the appointment and he asked us specifically to move the car because the chemicals that they use to clean the roof will not be good for the car. So he's like, I can't do it until you move the car. Well, they were doing it and the car was in the driveway because they were supposed to come tomorrow. We hadn't moved the car. And um, they were the ones though that were like, all right, click. And they just hung up and I was like, what? <laughs> like, what the heck? So 
uh, he was, he just did not care. I was like, are you sure the car's gonna be okay? Cause you were the ones that told me that I had to move the car. And he's like, yeah, it's fine. So, and I was like, I go, but you guys were supposed to be here tomorrow. You know that, right? Like tomorrow at eight o'clock is when we scheduled this. And I like, I wrote it on the calendar and he's like, no, it's today, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. And I'm like, I'm not worried because you're wrong. <laughs> like, I don't know. All in all, today was a pretty darn crappy day. I had some issues, personal things going on, but it turned out to be okay because we got all this free stuff. That was the one saving grace. Oh, and we got to go to Tijuana Flats for dinner and that was pretty delicious. And they had pink ta tacos. Well, I didn't have a pink taco, but I did have um, pink ribbons. I Instagrammed it. You should follow me on Instagram so you can see it. Pink chips. Yeah. Let's Chris. look at this. Chris. Oh yeah, so we'll show you all the stuff we got. It's way more than like $100 worth of stuff. And it was just like full free. We got this, we got these two folding chairs right here. Two giant chairs. Three little chairs. This is my favorite part though. What? Chase lounges? I don't know. They're, they're like, a little bit dirty, but they just need to be cleaned. I'm totally going to clean them tomorrow. And we're going to have these for our pool. Yeah. And then there's the base to the table, which is here, which is bigger than that table, which we need to fix up. But look at that. But yeah, it's for free waffle fries. We'll leave it on that high note of free furniture. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.